All right, welcome guys from Bangkok. And today we came over to see a massive jetty, a 60 meter tall jetty that's right down here. On, it's in Tonbury actually, not in Bangkok, but it's all the same to me. Just across the Chao Phraya River, right over next to the Memorial Bridge. And we came over here to Wat Prayura Wong Sawas Temple. And it's, uh, it's an old temple that's been in operation since 1855. And they started constructing it in 1828. So let me show you around and let's see what we see. Okay, this is why I came here, is this Praha Roamatat Maha Chedi. I've seen this from the river and from the bridges, and I've never been over here. But this massive white chedi is just like calling out to me to come over and take a look. So that's why I came over here today. This looks like right here in the main ordination hall. They have a ceremony going on with all the monks. They're doing some chanting now. They're uh, doing something with all the stuff they gathered up. And you can hear the monks in there chanting. It's kind of cool because they still have, uh, they have these little stone things that mark the, the perimeter of the abbot's influence. And they're all around. And another uh, hall over there. There's supposed to be a museum here, so let me see if I can find it. Okay, so this is the main Buddha that they found in the restoration. Quite a bit of stuff here. security guard to make sure nobody uh, hacks off with all these. So beside the museum they have uh, a bunch of the little stuff that they uh, recovered after they renovated the stupa. They have uh, some of the Buddha images, lots of the amulets and all the little stuff that was left. Impressive is this, this Buddha right here was found in the, in the stupa when they renovated it. Okay, so after you look at the museum, it gives you access to inside of the little jetty. So you're greeted with the Buddha, and you're walking around down here at the base of this. So the jetty itself is six, a little over 60 meters tall the little recesses, has Buddha images and everything in there. Now this temple itself was started construction in, I believe, 1828. And it was finished in 1855. And it's a second class temple. And it has the little Buddha images and stuff. That's what gives it some, its name, Praha. And the first grounds was a little coffee shop that a guy here on Tonbury donated for uh, the construction of this temple. And it was originally constructed under King Rama III. It's believed that the Chinese uh, trading fleet would uh, anchor just off of uh, the shoreline here in uh, Tonbury. So the traders would come. Okay, so let's go into here. To the pagoda. <laughs> this is really cool. <laughs> Little narrow stairwell. Okay, so we got up here. Now we go in. One more little. So this is inside of the stupa. <clears throat> And it is like really muggy in here, really humid. Wow, this is really fun. They put the gold leaf all on the wall and on the Buddha. So 
So I believe this was renovated in 2010. some pictures of the renovation what it looked like before so it looks much better now it's kind of rugged looking here but now it's this brilliant white stupa that catches your eye anywhere in the area of the river and this is not too far at all from the memorial bridge and not far at all from chinatown either it's all in Thai talking about the restoration that they did. Uh, so it was about to fall over. The inside of the stupa was broken and they've got it fixed up now. So this part right here had collapsed. And they've got it shored up now with those beams. Okay, so this is the exit. <laughs> so. You actually have to get down here and crawl your way out. All right, that was hard on the knees. And the view from up here on the top of this. A little bit of wind here. Alright, so this is a view of the temple grounds from up on this stupa. And then you can see over into Siloam area. And right over there is the Memorial Bridge. And here you can look down into the local community around. Some of the old wooden houses. Looks like a government building over there. Now let's go up on the outside wall of this jetty. Narrow, narrow little staircase. Okay, so here we go. So this is up on that outer wall. And then you can circle the jetty three times down there. And you can see all the little Buddha images. And a nice view of the jetty. How would you like to climb that rope to go up to the top? Yeah around the chetty right here. They have all the names of people that have donated. So this is a lot of people. It goes all the way around. All right, so they have kind of interesting these chetties right here. It has a reclining Buddha down in the bottom of it. And another one over there, but it's a, looks like a seated Buddha. Yeah, this one's a seated Buddha. It's quite different. It's a, almost a Chinese style. And they have Total of four of these jetties that go around this. So let's go inside this building and see what it looks like. So they have the Buddha here. They built a little covering for it. Of course, you got to take off your shoes to come into a temple. Okay, so here we go. Wow, this is this is a nice Buddha. So the temple hall itself is kind of plain. It has just the white walls. But the Buddha itself is really nice. It has the wood shutters with the mother of pearl. And the doors and then the shutters. We have a monk in here for anybody that wants a blessing. But wow, this is really a nice Buddha. And we have a little shrine here behind the main hall. It's pretty nice. The gate's locked up, so I can't go in there right now. And right here behind that little shrine, we have a little jetty. You can see there's quite a few more little buildings. Most of them are for the monk quarters and meeting halls for them. They have the little drum and the bell over there. And there's a crematorium and all of that. Okay, so it looks like the ceremony is over finally. So this is the main Buddha. And then how nice is this hall that it's in? Now it looks like these pillars are wood, that they're uh, encased in wood and they've painted all of that. 
that is is really 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 nice wow Carpet, so you can come here and pray. And then some more. Just the detail work in this room is amazing. Anyway, inside here is the like a turtle pond. And they have some fish and everything. So they have like a Chinese pagoda. Another pagoda there, replica. And the kids can come and feed the fish and feed the turtles. And it's quite nice. It's a nice little garden. So it's good for the kids to have a little bit of interaction with some nature. Just right behind this little jetty. Let's see, there we go. There's some of the turtles. Quite a few of them here. So, this is a replica of a Gothic style mandra that was actually built on this site in 1885. Okay, so this is the rock. This is the Cal Mo which comes from the Khmer, the rock. And it's uh, some of the mythology of Buddhism. And then they have another Buddha image that's in this Gothic style mandra. All right, so what this is right here, this is pretty interesting. This is what they call the Three Canons Monument. And it's dedicated to some guys that were doing a fireworks display and one of the cannons exploded and it killed seven people. But the significance of it, it was actually the first ever like medical operation that was ever performed in Thailand. An American physician by the name of Dan Beach Bradley did a little operation here. And that's what this little monument is set up for, for the people that lost their lives in that, out in that accident. All right guys, so that finishes up our little tour to check out this 60 meter tall jetty at this Wat Prabhurasabhava, however you say it. I still can't say it. But anyway, this is a really cool place. It's uh, someplace I've never uh, never seen before. So I was wanting to stop over here and check it out. I've seen the Chetty and I was always wondering where is that little temple? So I came over here today to look at it. So hopefully you enjoyed the video guys. If you did, make sure you click like and subscribe and share it with your friends. If you've been here before, leave a little comment. Say, hey, I went there and I thought this. Or if you haven't and you want to come, tell me that also. If, uh, if you want me to see something different, tell me in a comment also. So anyway, I will try to do my best. If you want me to go do a video of this or that, I'll do my best, okay? And as always, guys, remember, life is a journey. So enjoy. <laughs>